Hey everyone, welcome back to the Yulia Tudor Show. Uh, today I want to talk about a quote that really uh, inspired me. And this was by Les Brown. And he said that too many people are not living a life of their dreams because you're living a life of fear. And I think that's so true that, you know, we ask ourselves, like, what do I want to be in this life? And I feel like that there, people are not being real. People are not being true to their true calling of who they are and what their purpose is on this planet because we're coming from a place of fear. We're coming from a place of limitations. We look at the radar screen in front of us and they think, well, the only way I can live that lifestyle is to go through this path. But are you really that smart? Who are you to say that? Because I find that if you do something that doesn't fulfill your heart and your passion and you're just dragging your feet like a zombie, you know, you're not really going to be all that successful in something that you're not passionate about. I really feel like we're experiencing a modern day a zombie uh, apocalypse. And that's because, you know, people are just plugged in into the system and they're not really doing what fulfills them. They might do something because it might pay off the mortgage, pay off the bills, maybe put their kids into school, right? But they're miserable doing what they're doing. And what is the point of living a life that you're miserable? I truly believe that if you fulfill your passion, if you're going for something that really brings that fire in you, you will be successful because you're being you, you're being real, right? And when you're being true to your calling, you will attract abundance in your life. So when you're asking yourself, well, what am I going to be? What should I do? I ask yourself to come from a place of abundance, right? Don't come from a place of fear and limitations because that is exactly the kind of life that you're going to create. And don't follow the opinions of other people or the opinions of society and norms. You are the only person that knows what you want. Right? Because I think it's easy to get lost in the midst of chaos of other people's opinions unless it is people who have been where you've been and have exactly what you want. These are the kind of opinions that you should be listening to. But at the end of the day, you know what you want. So here's a cool exercise that I want you guys to exercise. Remember when you were a kid and you just thought anything was possible and you lived in a world of imagination and creativity and you thought there was unicorns and leprechauns, right? I want you to go back to being that kid, right? I want you to go back to being in a world where everything is possible because the reality is we do live in an abundant world. We're just programmed to think that uh, there's limitations right? The, 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 the idea that there's a shortage, shortage of success is, is faulty. It's, it's media, it's propaganda, right? But the reality is we live in an ever abundant world. So I encourage you when you're asking yourself, what do I want to be? What do I want to do with my life? Ask yourself, well, what makes me happy? If I could really do anything, I had all the money, all the time, all the resources in the world, what would I really do? What, where would you live? What would you contribute? Would you spend time with your loved ones? Do you have hobbies and passions that you want to fulfill? Come from a place of abundance because when you are coming from a place of abundance, you are going to create a life of, of abundance. And you deserve that and you should expect that. And when you live like that, that is exactly what you will create. So don't fit the round peg into the square hole. You know, you, you don't have to be what society tells you to be. Just be you, be real to you, and you'll be so much happier doing that because your happiness is the world's happiness. And what I mean by that is we're all energetically connected, right? When we're energetically connected, your frequency, your happiness, you're going to influence the people around you to be true to themselves and imagine a world where we could really live our purpose and be ourselves. That's really living life with purpose, you know? So when you're asking yourself, what do you want? I also encourage you to dig deep into why do you want that? What feeling is it that you're craving? What desire do you have and why? Why is it important to you, right? Because at the end of the day, the number one important thing in this life is to be happy, right? So if you, you know, if you want wealth, why? Are you seeking, um, you know, gratification? Are you seeking uh, prestige? Are these the feelings you're hoping? Are you seeking approval? Are you seeking love? Right? What are the, what are the feelings that you're looking for? A connection with people? Right? 
So I encourage you to come from a place that's real, come from a place that's you, come from a place that's authentic because that you're going to create a life that is really meant for you, right? Don't be living somebody else's life. Don't be living somebody else's dream. Be true to you. Ask yourself, come from a place of abundance. Come from a place where anything is possible and you will see how doors will open. But you have to expand your mind if you want to expand your life. So this has been Yulia Tudor from YuliaTudor.com speaking to you from the bottom of my heart to really help you pursue your dreams. If you love this video and this content, if you've inspired you, don't be selfish and share my message of love and encouragement with the world so we can make this a better place. Ciao for now.